you live from Lavender Town. It's your boy Jay West here at my co-host, the only guy to never get scared by Lear, Mac East. What up, nerds? It's me, Mac East, and we are talking all things Lavender Town for our hokey Halloween special. Ooh. <laughs> We're talking the anime, which we just watch the manga a little bit we're talking some of the game and we're going to talk some of the urban legends that surround this i love ghost town that subject i love that subject by the way we're also eating bean boozled beans which come in a variety of flavors such as Fuck. barf um D- dirty dish water dirty dish water me. stink bug stinky socks <laughs> Canned dog food, which I've heard is the worst. Ooh, worse Rotten than egg, vomit, worse than vomit. Dead fish, you you know the deal. And that, we're drinking ghost IPAs just to stay in the season. Hey, you guys are from the East Coast, ghost. Give us some cash. We'll promote the shit out of you. Yeah, apparently, yeah, I guess New England IPAs. Well, they, some so. of them they make in New York, too. Welcome. Anyway, so, yeah, that's what's going down today. I'm, I'm nervous about throwing up in this episode. I... And worry that they won't be gross and this whole gimmick is blown. Um, Dare to compare. So we're worried about different things. By the way, so this is like a trick-or-treat special. Because we we don't know if we're getting the gross beans or a regular flavored Jelly Belly. Um, that is part of the fun, I guess. So if anything, I'll just look at the color, pop it in my mouth, chew it, and then... You're gonna if try and bad. guess, or you're gonna? Yeah, I'm gonna try to guess, but like I don't, because I don't want to like look at it or smell it. <laughs> All right, I don't know about you. You want to do one right now? Do you want to lead it off? off? All right, let's hold it on. Off. shake up the cup. That probably sounds terrible in your ears. Come but on, it's, it's, a, it's a Halloween special. It's the chains of the oppressed. All right, ready? All right, you go for one. Ah, oh, jeez. The one I got is white, completely white, without any. That's specs. probably spoiled. Mine is, I think. Pink? Hold on, I'm gonna hold it up for the box. Oh fuck! Either this one is gonna be peach or barf. Wait, which one did I get? You got what? Yours is either gonna be spoiled milk or coconut. All right. <laughs> oh, I don't want to do right, this. Let's do this one at a time, right. so we can. You want to go first? Yeah, I'll go first. Fuck oh, it. God. Uh, the coconut. I don't know. (laughs) What? How do you not know? Hold up. No. Wait, what's this one? Oh, wait. That's uh, dirty dish water? It's dirty dish water. It's dirty dish water, guys. (laughs) All right. Here we go. It's not the worst thing I've ever had, but it's not great. This is good. All right. So either this. Uh, It kind of tastes like beans. Yeah. Wait. Yeah, it's peach. Oh. Nice. He's saved. He's saved, guys. You almost ate barf on the first one. Oh, God, that would have sucked. I got dish water. It tastes, <laughs> it tastes like beans. All right, so where do you want to start off with this, my man? Uh, you want to hit the anime? Let's it's hit fresh the in anime. our minds. Let's do the anime. So, what? first off, I had so much fun watching this. So, yeah, to, before we even get into it, we watched the three episodes surrounding Lavender Town, the two Sabrina episodes, and then the episode where Ash goes to get a ghost Pokemon. Yeah. So, so yeah, I, I... part. Oh, my God, it's gross <laughs> in my mouth. Part of me was like, yeah, this is like, oh, man, it was hitting me right in the nostalgia bones. Oh, it was ble- my brain is still bleeding nostalgia. Yeah, so part of me really loves this show, but like Jay was saying, oh man, it's bad. Oh you- yeah, dude. I, as a kid, I loved it, but like watching it now with my adult brain, I'm like, one, this doesn't make any sense, and two, whoever wrote the show does not know the fucking rules of Pokemon. Yeah, they think ghost Pokemon are good against psychic. They think. Uh, what what is some other uh, they think first of all they think that being psychic means that you can turn people into dolls that oh you can... dude they, oh god what do, all right so <laughs> the first thing that the first episode opens up with like this weird little girl she shows up in the woods gets them to like almost run off a cliff ashen brock and misty or whatever and then they see uh saffron city i believe saffron city right yeah, yeah saffron saffron city and they go to Saffron City, Team Rocket ambushes and blah, blah, blah. Traps them in a room with a warp pad where literally all you have to do is step on the warp pad to get out. Yeah, yeah. I was hyped to see the warp pad because it's in the games. And I completely forgot that it was in the show. I was like, holy shit. I and it's in it for like that. a second. I and, did not remember that. But then anyway, Ghost Girl shows up, rescues them, and then teleports them in front of the gym. Now, this gym is pretty fucking spooky. Yeah, it's got these weird floors that look like 
slime or something. It, it almost like mist, but marble. I don't know. And then the the architecture inside looks like um like one of the Namekian buildings or something. Like the way it's like, you know, like the white with the fucking like weirdly shaped stuff. There's like horns coming out of everything. Yeah, yeah. And uh, then we run into our first guy who's like a doctor. Yeah, first they look into a room and they they see all these people trying to do psychic shit. Some of them are bending spoons, other ones are like not even able to do simple like guessing cards. Yeah, and then this doctor rolls up. He's got like a Dracula voice and, and he's, he's ready for COVID. Mask. He's ready for COVID. He's, he's got ready. the mask. He's the got the one. mask. Wear your mask, everybody. And uh, yeah, he's like, you guys, uh, fuck you. I don't know what he says. <laughs> he was just basically like, you need telekinesis. Dude. Oh, yeah. You will psychic Pokemon. It's like, that does, that's yeah. not how that works. Inaccuracy, big old inaccuracy, number one. Yeah. they uh, Basically, they say you can't use psychic Pokemon. All right, for the inaccuracy, we should eat a beef. All right, fuck it. Right. I'll go first this time, I guess, because you went first. Yeah, let's see what I got here. Right. Please don't be dog food. And I think this is dog food. Mine looks like it could be toasted marshmallow or stink bug. Yeah, mine is either dog food or pudding. Woo! You better hope for pudding, bro. It's Karunia night. He's chilling it. That's pudding. Yeah, this guy hasn't gotten a gross one yet. That's a luck, baby. All right. Luck of the old Irish. Now, mine could be stink bug or toasted marshmallow. What the hell does a stink bug taste like? It's stink bug. Oh, dude. Oh, this is gross. Oh, I feel so fucking bad. <laughs> Yo, your face. <laughs> this is rough. Oh, man. I I'm having a great time. <laughs> you don't fuck yourself. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, uh, that's good. All right. That's good. Damn. All right. I came within death twice. <laughs> Yeah, he got two of the worst ones, and it ended up being the good things. Oh, man. Anyway, so this guy oh, this guy brings him to Sabrina, and he's like, they're not worthy of you, Sabrina. And she's, like, sitting on a throne with, like, her little self and her big self. Which it happens to be a doll. Yeah. <clears throat> and then she force chokes the shit out this dude. Yo, he's, like, acting like he's on fire, but he's also holding his throat. He's like, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to pick who you fight. Yeah, and then he runs away. And then Ash fights her. She throw out an Abra. She's like, yo, if you lose, you gotta, you gotta play, play with, me. with me. And Ash is like, fuck it, I don't care. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I'll play with you. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, she throws out an Abra. This motherfucker's sleeping. Um, he the sends out Pikachu. And then, yeah, this battle sucks. Abra turns into Kadabra for out some of reason. Nowhere. Yeah, it does a teleporter too, and then turns into Kadabra. Kadabra's a little racist. So. Kadabra. <laughs> yeah, so Kadabra. It sounds like a dude trying to do an Asian guy voice. Um, I did not pick that up at all. So that's what it sounded like to me. Anyway, and then, yeah, Kadabra whips Pikachu's ass. Oh, dude, this was froth. There's another thing. So, Pikachu does thunder. I think it's thunder, because it makes, like, this fucking big cloud in the sky. A Ash goes, he can't use teleport if we fill the entire room with electricity. Yeah, so he's just basically like, Pikachu, do the best thing you got. Because Ash is a terrible train. I've learned something from watching these three episodes. The dude... Has no idea what he's doing. He's like he might be the worst. He's not the very best. He's the worst that no one ever was. <laughs> he doesn't know moves. He's just like Pikachu. Do the best thing you got. <laughs> <laughs> he really sucks. Like and Pikachu does thunder, which I don't think he even knows it has because he always says thunderbolt. And then uh, Pikachu does thunder, and Kadabra does confusion, which not at all like the game turns into a, a lightning dragon and hits Pikachu. It redirects. The fucking lightning bolts. Yeah. And then it turns it into what looks like a Charizard head. And it's chasing Pikachu. Yeah. And then... And then Pikachu gets destroyed <laughs> by electricity for some reason. And then this is the other thing that always... So in the games, like I've always... Even before we had like good animation, mm -hmm. I've always tried to like visualize what the attacks look like. And Psychic has been one that has eluded me forever. Because I have no idea what the fuck Psychic is supposed to be. It's usually just the screen goes squiggly. Yeah. And then just... So, and then you see the health bar drop. So I can't talk too much shit about this. But Kadabra does Psychic. And first it makes Pikachu dance. And Ash is like, oh, Pikachu just wants to dance. Which is ridiculous. <laughs> and Brock and Misty are like, god damn it, Ash. Like, you're so dumb. Like... Anyway, he realizes that it's control. That Kadabra's controlling Pikachu, and then Kadabra just starts launching Pikachu into the ceiling, and then in the floor, and then the ceiling just bouncing Pikachu. This is brutal because, like, it's literally fucking trying to break Pikachu into a million pieces. So I like to think Psychic might be some sort of blast to the brain, 
this is more like it's it's literally just telekinesis. Yeah. Um, also, it can control your. I don't know. So, I, like I said, I can't talk too much shit because psychic is kind of vague even in the game. But so then Ash gives up. Yeah, Ash quits because Pikachu's getting getting that work. Yeah, for real. He didn't even try to cycle through any of his Pokemon. He immediately just forfeits. Well, I think she calls a one-on-one battle. Um, because, of course, she doesn't have any Pokemon outside of a, <coughs> one that only has teleport. Yeah, she's the gym, fucking leader. gym leader. Anyway, so she, she puts them in a fucking dollhouse. Oh, my God, this is so dumb. So it's like some Children of the Corn shit or, or that Twilight Zone episode. Power. She, yeah, she puts them in there. Yeah, She with, shrinks them. Telekinesis will use the quote the air. I'm quotes. eating a bean for that one. I don't know about you. Uh, which one is this gonna be? Oh, this is bright blue. It looks like he might have toothpaste. Yeah, it's that or berry blue. Let's find out. Fucking berry blue, baby. Let's get this it. Son of three a bitch. Three. By the way, guys, I also got stink bug again. Um let's see what happens. Ah, toasted marshmallow. Nice, nice, nice. I survived this round. Wow, that's much better than stink bug. <laughs> I feel like I should just do another one just to do another one because I haven't gotten one. Okay, let's see if the, my luck is on my side. Oh, fuck. What's this one? It's either going to be dead fish or strawberry smoothie. Uh, let's all root for dead fish together, guys. Or maybe barf. Let's put know. a spirit bomb into this for it to be dead fish. He's chewing. I'm drinking. Strawberry banana smoothie. This son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, man. I don't understand it. That's four for four. Hold on. Sorry. We got to see if I go five for five. There's got to be a world record, guys. Oh, no. Either barf or dead fish. Again. How could it be barf or dead fish? I don't know. These colors don't oh. fucking match anything. Jay's but... a little colorblind. Or is it stink bug? Nah, that ain't stink bug. That's, uh, it looks like dead fish. Yeah. It could be barf. We'll find out when you eat it. Oh! Oh! It's got something. Um. It's got something gross. Um. Ooh. Mmm. Mmm. That, I think that's barf. (laughs) He got barf, everybody. (laughs) Oh. 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 We did it. Oh, God, I don't like this. Your spirit bomb power made that barf. Oh. Hold on. Uh, it doesn't want to go down. We did it, That's guys. That's gross. We fucking did it. That one was fucking nasty. That was disgusting. All right. So I'm going to get back to it while he drinks a beer and tries to get that out of his mouth. Oh, man. That was really <laughs> disgusting. Um, yeah. It's so, like a smoky barf. So anyway, they find out they're at a dollhouse, and then they get she jumps into the dollhouse, and I don't know. It, whatever. It's stupid. She rolls a ball, almost crushes them. I want to play catch. Yeah, then the dad teleports in, and he's like, put your mind in my mind, and then he teleports them all away. Yeah, how do you concentrate your mind onto someone else's mind? Nonetheless, while there's a giant Indiana Jones boulder ball coming down at you down the street, yo, this is really fucked up. At the family portraits. The whole thing's a mess. Anyway, let's get to Lavender Town. So he tells them, yo, you need a ghost Pokemon to combat Sabrina's psychics. Wrong. But they go to Lavender Town for a ghost Pokemon. So they show up to the fucking uh, Lavender Town, and right as they're approaching in the horizon, there's just this giant tower. It's the biggest building in the whole area. It looks nothing like the game tower. It has horns. It has a Gengar door. It's 100% a Gengar. I don't care what anybody (laughs) says. It's... It's bizarre. I don't even know who used to live there or why. Who, I don't know who's paying the bills. Yeah, there's electricity because the ghosts watch comedy shows. Slapstick comedy. They love it. But, um, dude, so they go there. They're all scared. Team Rocket, for some reason, is already in there. And uh, Gasly comes out. And I love Gasly. Gasly. Yeah, Gasly. Gasly. I love it's it. It's such a weird voice. And he's like possessing Jesse. Like, Oh, yeah. He, he puts himself on her head. And he's like... Don't tell me your secrets or some weird shit and like that. bugs out. <laughs> yeah, and then he scratches Jesse's face, and she's like, you've ruined my beautiful face. Whatever. There's a whole bunch Somehow of Somehow James stuff. gets fucked up. There's a lot of slapstick going on in this episode because the ghosts are all in on it. Oh, yeah, they're so all in. Um, yeah, so we see them watching TV, like I said. It's and Haunter then... and Gengar chilling on the couch. Yeah. And then, yeah, it's just a, it's just a series of nonsense. Yeah. Um, <laughs> At some point, they, Ash brings out Charmander because he can't see, and Charmander's like blowing flamethrower 
gets mad winded, does it again at Brock, who's holding a candle. Burns up Brock. Pikachu laughs. It's so stupid because literally all they had to do was put the candle to Charmander's <laughs> tail. Yeah. No, but when Charmander first comes out, like they're like, oh, we need a light. So they fucking release Charmander and he just... And just this giant flamethrower. For, no one asked for it. And he's just shooting it. If yeah, Ash fire. doesn't know its moves, he probably would have called for Fire Spin because that was Ash's shit. And that was a piece yeah, of garbage. It is. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so... Uh, yeah, so they bring light based on that, and then, for some, I don't even remember how this happens. Fucking James falls to the basement, he gets crushed by Team Rocket, yeah. based on the ghosts fucking with him, whatever, fuck Team Rocket. Oh, wait, wait, cause, yeah, then they go, they're searching in the room, and they find the welcome room. The well, oh, right, and I, it's like, pull this string, and Ash is like, alright, why not? And then he pulls it. fucking idiot. And he's like, welcome? Yeah, he's like, I guess we're welcome, and then... And then everything just... starts flying around the room, and it's clearly Haunter and Gang are up to their fucking no good tactics. And I, I just want to say, as a kid, I thought this was the coolest shit I've ever seen. Yeah, There's Jay... no Ghost Pokemon in the original 150 except for these three. Yeah, Jay loves Ghost Pokemon, so it's especially Gengar because like they're so mischievous, mis- mischievous, mischievous, mischievous. I can't think of the word. I can't mischievous, say mischievous. Yeah, I can yeah. never say that word right. But they're just like dicks. Yeah. I kind of wanted to see Gengar be, like, a real badass, but that's not what this episode was about. It's really cool, though, because, like, also, Haunter looks cool. You said that. His design is really sick. I, yeah, Haunter is, like, one of the cooler looks. He really is. And he has this weird old man laugh. <laughs> he's, he's got this long tongue. He's got these hands that float independent of his body, and they're, like, that, that clawed. That is absurd. He's got these, like, sharp points just shooting out everywhere. He, oh, he yeah, looks dude, awesome. His fucking, his floaty hands are claws. Yeah, I love him. He looks awesome. Um, he keeps doing this thing too because it happened. The card it was like three D. Yeah, yeah. It was so cool. It was like a I don't know. I, I was just obsessed I, with that. We're gonna yeah. And anyway, yeah. So he he fucking the Kangar card was weird looking. Yeah, it was like it was like his teeth were made out of like grainy wood. Yeah. It was, he was very three dimensional. It was solid. Yeah, it was like they did it with like a computer instead of I like stole drawing that card it. from my friend at his birthday party. He pulled it out of a pack and I stole it on his birthday. Yeah, if you didn't steal Pokemon cards, you you did Pokemon cards wrong. Um, yeah, that's how I got all my Pokemon. That's how I got my Hitmon. I remember one day I stole the Hitmon Chan in class. That's how I got mine. Out of some kid's desk, he had it in there. So I grab it, and then the teacher's like, he like finds out later on, and he's like crying and shit. And the teacher's like, "We're not leaving this until we find this Hitmon Chan card." And I was like, "Oh fuck!" <laughs> and somehow I got out of there with with the fucking card. She was like searching everybody. I don't remember where I put this fucking card. I remember being outside of the school though, walking home. And I'm just looking at this shit, like, cackling to myself like an evil villain asshole. <laughs> like, I, I felt a little guilty, but I was like, fuck it, I gotta hit my chan. Son, I remember it was, because the Jungle Pack just came out, and Hitmonchan was part of the Jungle Pack. Mm-hmm. And Hitmonlee was fossil, but that didn't happen yet. And I remember me and this kid, David, this big Spanish kid, we were hanging out at a, it was like the summer program. And everyone left their fucking Pokemon card binders inside. And everyone went outside to play, like, Wiffle Ball. And me and David stayed inside to look at Pokemon <laughs> cards. And we robbed everybody. I, I remember I got a Snorlax that day. I got a Hitmonchan that day. I got, yes. a, I got a fucking... No, I didn't get... I, Victory Bell was the only Pokemon. Like, it was one of the last ones that I needed. Charizard was the last one I got, actually. Charizard. Oh, the story of Charizard. That's a fucked up story. How I got that. But uh, we're not going to talk about that one today. Yeah, man, I think we're going to do a Pokemon cards episode one day. We'll talk about that shit. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so back to the, the Gengar card looks fucking weird. And then I've seen the newer Gengar cards. They still look weird as fuck. A lot of the cards look weird. But anyway. Uh, yeah, so they're in this fucking tower. They leave. For some reason, yeah, they all leave. And then they're, they're like, shook. yo, Ash, you go back and catch that shit yourself. So Ash is like, fuck you guys, I got this. And he runs back in there and dies. All right, do it being... Dude just dies. They, they drop a chandelier on him. No, and... well, he hits the floor hard. All right. This is either going to be spoiled milk. Oh, me too. All right, well, hold on, let's cheers these. All right. cheers. This should be interesting. Oh, no, yours has got specs, mine don't. Oh, uh, so then... Oh, you wait. have dirty dishwater or birthday cake. Sturdy dish water. Yeah, I had that one. It's gross. It tastes like soap. Yeah. Oh, what the fuck, man? I'm going for spoiled milk. Oh, fuck. 
I think this is coconut, but it's, it's still so gross. weird. It tastes like how I could imagine dish water tasting. These don't get you sick, right? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this is fucked. This is the weirdest taste. So I survived that one. I dodged that bullet. Oh, Ugh. this is weird. Like it hits my like my <laughs> nose. Like I can smell soap. Yeah, it they're on they're pretty on point. We haven't dude, there's gonna be a point where we really just get gross shit because we're getting some good ones. <laughs> yeah, no, this was weird. <laughs> um anyway, so yeah, Ash a chandelier falls on him and Pikachu. Pikachu puts out a thunderbolt, kills them. <laughs> so they're fucking dead. <laughs> so Gengar at first is like got a smile on his face and, and then, then he, he gets sad. Because he knows they're dead. And Ghastly gets sad, but Haunter thinks it's fucking hilarious. He's like <laughs> And he walks up to their dead well, he floats over their bodies and proceeds to pull their souls yeah, Hunter, from their corpses. Hunter's out there snatching souls. Um which would be an awesome Pokemon move. Uh but Soul Snatch. Soul Snatch. Or yeah, whatever. <laughs> but dude, it was so cool because um And then they f- and then Ash is like, I don't wanna be dead and then He's like, let's go fuck with Ash and, I mean, Brock and well, Misty. <laughs> I mean, they don't really have a choice because Haunter just grabs him and he's like, nah, we're going flying. So they pull, so they go outside. Ash grabs Misty by the waist. He's he's flirting even as a ghost. He pull her up to the sky and then he just goes, catch her, Brock. By the way, they can't see Ash. So he's, he drops her from like 15 He just feet. has to trust that Brock will catch her and, she, and he does, he does. And then they just go flying through. You've seen it. And, in the, and Misty goes, I think something terrible <laughs> happened to Ash. You've wow. seen it in the theme song. They go flying with the ghosts. And Ash is like, yeah. It's like. I it, hated that part. It, it reminds me so much of the, the Family Guy joke where he's in the never ending story. And he's like riding on the fucking dragon. Yeah. And he's like, yeah. That's like exactly what Ash is doing flying through the air. <laughs> so stupid. And then like, you know, they're playing around. Haunter cuts them off. They fly through. Oh them yeah, out. he oh, like you got me. Yeah, he like acts like he's gonna eat them and then just fly. Th- even though ghosts shouldn't be able to fly through ghosts, whatever. Yeah, I don't know. It's vapor. And he laughs. He thinks it's hilarious. Haunter, Haunter thinks everything is funny. Haunter. And he keeps fucking making these insane faces. Gengar. And yeah, he, I love Gengar. He's, it's just it's so weird. Like I almost wish they didn't say their fucking names constantly. Yeah, I don't know how that started. It's really weird because that's not what happens in the game. At all, like they have certain voices. Or, and, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, um, <clears throat> so they get back in there. Somehow Ash gets back in his body. I don't even remember how that happens. Do you? Oh, he's like, oh, it's time. Well, they bring them. Oh, to the right. Room. They bring him to and the game like, room. Yeah. I, I can't be a ghost forever. He's like, as much as I want to play with you, I have to go win battles. And then be maybe a he makes him sad. Just jabroni. And then he just walks up to his body, lays back down, and then they're they're, they're healed. Yeah, they're good. They somehow they survived the chandelier on the head. They're alive again. And, and then Ash is this? Did we miss it? Ash uses Charmander to fight Haunter. This happens afterwards. Okay. Yeah. So oh he, no 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 no! That's how the chandelier falls. Okay. Fuck. Yeah. So Charmander does leer, which I've never seen Ash do leer ever. And Haunter's looking at him back, doing his leer. Also, oh, why would you want to lower the defense of a ghost pose? Ash is the worst. Anyway, then then Charmander does like a joke face, and Haunter thinks it's funny, and then Haunter licks him and paralyzes him. Do you want to Eminem? No, nah, I'm good. It's like a palate cleanse. <laughs> I'm good. I uh yeah. So that happens, and then uh. Then the chandelier falls somehow, yeah. whatever. And then, basically, Haunter, they leave, because they're like, fuck it, I ain't catching no ghosts. And then Haunter comes out, and he's like, yeah, I'm gonna come with you guys. And he's like, oh, will you help me? He's like, alright, whatever. And then he licks Misty's face. No, no, that's the next episode. That, no, no, that's, yeah, that's the beginning of the next episode. So then, they end up going through the city, and for some reason, they they end up back at the Saffron Gym, and he's like, I got Haunter now. And Sabrina's like, oh, you got a Got a ghost Pokemon? Let's go. This episode, this third episode is the worst, guys. It's so, this pissed me off as a fucking kid because I'm, I, I was going to say I'm tired of Ash. (laughs) I was tired of Ash getting these fucking badges without ever fighting anybody. And guess what's about to happen? Oh my God. Even as a kid, this was like the, this spent three episodes on this for him not to battle. (laughs) What a piece of shit. (laughs) Oh my God. Ash is the worst. Even at the end of this episode, Ash goes, Damn, I didn't really earn this badge. And Missy's like, yeah, she did, because you're funny. And then he's like, yeah, I yeah. am. And then they all leave. Why the fucking he loses and yeah, Charizard never responds? Off him. to lose in the fucking Indigo League. He's literally sitting there with, like, level 8 Pokemon. Dude, there's a point in this episode where he's with all three starters and Pikachu. And he's like, let's go fight Sabrina. Because Haunter just knows he, he ghosts Ash. <laughs> yeah. And, uh... Oh, good. 
So, yeah, Ash is in there like a dickhead. And he's like, go ahead, go fight this Kadabra. And he, like, points to Pikachu. Pikachu's like, nah, chill. Then he points to the three starters. They're like, nah, chill. And I'm like, yo, these Pokemon ain't ready for, for this. Like, he, his Pokemon suck balls. If I remember correctly, the, <coughs> oh, the Kadabra card was a level 16. In the... <laughs> and the actual cards and those motherfuckers I think you might be right actually. those starters ain't no level 16s nah they're jabronis they're Plus little tiny you just jabronis. got fucking domestic violence for like half an episode yeah so they're like I, I, want, I don't want the smoke and then Ash is like fine I quit actually she turns Misty and Brock into dolls because that's psychic powers yeah and Ash then, escapes <laughs> yeah the dad comes in again teleports Ash out and then he's like on the bench and he's like, she was like a maniac. He doesn't say maniac, but he's like, she was obsessed with bending things with her mind as a kid. She fucking implodes the house. Yeah, she crumples this. They live in a mansion, by the way. They're rich. They, she crumples this entire mansion. And then Ash is like, she, he like shows the picture, the dad. And Ash is like, she had this picture. You must be. And the dad's like, oh no, he figured it out. And he's like, the photographer. <laughs> and he's like, he does the classic anime fall yeah, he over falls thing. down. And then <laughs> later on, like, he talks about how he knows Sabrina since she's a kid. Since she's a baby. And Ash is like, you knew her as a kid? And he's like, oh, he's definitely got it this time. And Ash is like, you must have took her baby pictures too. All right, I'm going to do it. This hand has to be dog food. There's right. only one left this color. And it's got to be the dog food. Right, this, is, this is for you assholes. Oh, fucking shit. Do it. Yeah, alright, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Doesn't smell like anything. Nah, you can't tell by smell. You can't tell by smell. Alright, hold on. I'll let you go first, because if this is gonna be the worst one in the bag, it's gonna be rough. I can't tell what flavor this might be, so I'm gonna taste it. It's like a brownish with browner flex. Nah, it's stink bug again. Oh, that's fucked up. God damn it! (laughs) Alright... Don't eat stink bugs, guys. Maybe, maybe this... You know what's weird? It's extremely gross, but it's still sweet like candy. How... Ugh. All right. Going in. No. Wow. It's chocolate pudding. This fucking guy. Holy shit. This fucking guy. I've eaten two stink bugs. I've eaten... uh, I had barf. I had smoky barf. (laughs) Fair enough, fair enough. That one had an aftertaste, like, for, like, five minutes. Ah, oh, stink bug's gross, man. Uh, dirty dishwater was fucking weird. Uh, alright, so, anyway, fuck this episode. They, they end up fighting again, and then... No, I'll... no, we, Team Rocket, for some reason, hanging out on the side of a building. Oh, okay, yeah, this is good, this is good. Like, in this window washer thing. They're bragging about how they've invented the greatest thing, and it's a fucking fishing net. And Haunter shows up, and he's like... I'm going to make some more ghost Pokemon and scares them off. Of, so they're hanging on for their life. Because for some reason, Haunter scared the shit out of them where they hopped out. Mind you, they're like six stories in the air. And the whole time, they're all holding on and Haunter's just in their face trying to make them laugh. Like, let go, let go. He's really trying to kill them. Yeah, he's... And and uh, J- Jesse says some shit like how Team Rocket's trained against any sort of, like, nonsense or some shit. Like... And then, and then she, he doesn't even do anything this last, last time. He like, just waves at her and mm-hmm. she like loses her shit. I think that was supposed to be like a tickle. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Cause he like puts, he licks his own face and eats his eyes. Yeah. That was cool. It's weird. Cause they reuse those animations for what happens yeah. next. But anyway, they fall down. They go through the concrete. Haunter thinks this is fucking hilarious. <laughs> like he's doing that old man laugh. And then Ash just happens to be walking by. And he's like, oh, you stopped him from getting Pikachu. And I really feel like Haunter was like, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Like, he's, like, yo, he's like, yo, like, Haunter, you said you'd help me. And Haunter just shrugs and he's like, whatever. And he's like, will you come help me? You'll never have to help me again. He's like, all right. So then he goes back to the gym. And he's like, Haunter, go. Haunter's nowhere to be found. Yeah. So then Sabrina's like, enough of this bullshit. I'm turning you into a doll. And then Pikachu's like, nah, all right, fine. I'll, I'll get my ass beat for you. I don't want you to get turned into a doll. Yeah, yeah. So as the, the battle's going on, Pikachu ends up hitting Kadabra with a fucking thunderbolt. He actually hits it. And, and then he uses it, recover. Yeah, it does recover. Which was This was like the best sequence of action in the entire three episodes because they actually use real moves. 
And they actually make contact with each other. And then out of nowhere, Haunter just shows up in Sabrina's face. Yeah. As as things get good, Haunter shows up and makes Sabrina laugh. Oh my god. But it's so funny because he's doing... He's like smashing his face together and then he fucking just pulls out a bomb. Yeah, out of his mouth. And, then and he's just <laughs> smiling as he's holding it and just blows Ash, up. Yeah, Ash and her dad are like mad shook because they're like, yo, she's gonna die. <laughs> and she just laughs. And then Kadabra's laughing on the floor. Ash so like, no, telepathically no, no, yeah, this is some bullshit. Sabrina and Kadabra are telepathically linked. So why does she have to call out the moves to tell him to do them? Exactly. She should just be in her head. Bro. Yeah. Anyway, so that happens. And then the dad's like, oh, Kadabra can no longer fight. Pikachu's the winner. Yeah, he just declares Pikachu the winner, even though he was saying his gym. Um, <laughs> Man, it's so fucking sick. Anyway, that's the story of Lavender Town. And Ash gets anime. a marsh badge. And yeah. he gets a marsh badge. Which looks like a little circle. It's like a little Why is it called button. Marsh? Yeah, why Marsh? It's in the middle of a city. There's no swamps around. It's know. a psychic bet. Like, the whole... I don't know. that The whole sequence and chain of events that happened in these three episodes suck. The only cool thing that came out of it was fucking... We got to see the ghost Pokemon. In all honesty, guys, I, I don't necessarily recommend this. I did get, like, a nostalgia kick. But I would say the it, just the Lavender episode by itself is actually pretty funny. Like, like it's wh- very... It's not the best thing, but it's just entertaining. Like, I didn't laugh because it was, like... Funny, but I laughed at them because of nostalgia. Like I remember being a kid, being like, "Yo, I really like this." Yeah. So I definitely it put a really big smile on my face. I really enjoyed this. Um, I'll recommend it if you want to go on a trip to your childhood. Yeah. Also, the pokey raps, dope. Oh um, my god! I, at the end, I got that hit my chain. I screamed yeah. that shit out. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So that was cool. Um, so I guess what do you want to talk about next? Uh, before we. Talk next. Let's eat some beans. Some beans you want to do too? No. All right. At the end, we'll do whatever's left. Oh, fuck. And a big handful. No, not one big handful. <laughs> no way. All right. What is this? I got fucking spoiled milk, but I haven't had spoiled milk yet. So. Either, oh, this one's either a booger or a juicy pear. That's new. All right. Uh-oh. This is spoiled milk. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yo, your fucking face. I don't even like milk, guys. All right, oh. let's see this booger. Oh. Oh. oh, this is booger. Nice. Wait. Yeah, wait. What? Is it salty? No, <laughs> wait. I think this is... Pe- wait. Oh, this has a very strange aftertaste. Like... Ah, this ghost. This I mean, might be... This no, milk. wait. I think this is booger? If you can't tell, it probably isn't booger, bro. No, but it like... It doesn't taste good at all. But it doesn't... It's really sweet. Oh, jeez, this milk. I think that was booger. Oh. Uh-oh. I don't even want to drink this beer now. That's why I have the M&M's. It's a oh. power cleanser. Oh, my God. That's with Take me. one. That's with me for life. No. I'm doing this. I'm doing this. No, fuck you. Anyway, all right. So, um, so before we get to, like, the game and the urban legends, I, I, I just I want to talk about the manga a little bit. I, I gave it a little read just because... I was I've doing, never read the manga. I was doing some research just because... I was like, let me read about Lavender Town when Jay proposed this episode. Um, and yeah, the manga sounded awesome, so I'm like, let me check it out. The manga's cool. The battles kind of suck and that shit. But the Lavender Town shit is sick. So, he, Ash, not Ash, Red goes into the fucking the Pokemon Tower, which is a graveyard. They say that Gary, I'm going to call them by their fucking anime names. Gary's been in there for like three days. You know what's weird? That the Pokemon Tower in the anime was not the graveyard. No, it was not. Uh, yeah, they cut out the graveyard stuff in the anime. So yeah, in the in the manga, he goes in there, and Gary's been missing for a while. They say if you go in there, you never come out. And yeah, you there's like the I'll, I'll post these pictures on Twitter. There's this fucking Psyduck that attacks Red. The zombie Psyduck. Dude, it's it's a zombie. There all these zombie Pokemon start attacking him, and it's there's a zombie Arbuck later that fucking. Ash cuts in half. What? And Co- it's Koga's. Because Koga's like a villain. He's like the top Team Rocket guy in the manga. Koga? Um, yeah. The ninja guy? The ninja. The poison dude. The, yeah. What? He's he, a Team Rocket dude? He's top of the Team Rocket. Get the fuck out of here. <clears throat> and he flies off with a gold bat. Like. What? Yeah, so there's like a ghastly. It's using its gas to fuck with people in there. And it's like bringing these fucking dead Pokemon back to life. Holy shit. And there's like a there's like a side duck with its eye hanging I out. You sent me that picture, dude. 
Yeah, it's pretty it's pretty sick. Uh, <laughs> and they're all like, I don't even know if it's illusions or zombies. Either way, it's fucking pretty gruesome for uh, for Pokemon. And then Ash saves Gary, and get the, uh, I mean, Red saves Green and gets the fuck out of there. Um, no, no, Green is a girl. No, He's no. He's blue. Not Gary's this. blue. Not in this. Oh, in the manga? Wait, yeah, because really? there was only oh, red and green. Yeah, that's right. That is right. That is yeah. right. That is right. And the they do actually visit this in the remake. Um, they do Pokemon. I think it's uh, what the hell is Legends called? or something. Pokemon Legends, and they revisit this where it's the story through the video game, where Lavender Town, the Pokemon Tower is the graveyard, and the Team Rocket guy was he was killing he killed Marowak. Yeah, so, yeah, so let's talk, let's get to the game, too, yeah. So the Marowak stuff is pretty interesting. Um, Shit's sad. Yeah, it's like, you find out that the ghost in the in the game, I'm sure you guys have played it if you're listening, um, but if not... Well, you needed the sl- silk, silk scope. Yeah, and you find out the ghost is a Marowak, and then you find out that Q-Bones rock the skulls of their mothers... So they essentially, I guess, Marowaks give birth and die. <laughs> I guess it's weird though, cause uh, yo, in the the show, he beats it with an ass baton. He fucking murders that thing. Yeah. So the game is this game is pretty crazy. Um, there's also the 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 myth that Gary's Radicate died. Um, yes, on the SSN. Yeah. So there, when you get there, he's like mourning some Pokemon when you fight, and his Radicate's never in the party. Yeah, again. he's never in the party again, and people think that it died, and it could just be that he was like Radicate blows. I'm gonna put it in my Poke box, but he is mourning a dead Pokemon. <laughs> I think the theory holds plenty of water. Yeah, because also there was a lot of really dark shit in our games as kids. Yeah, man, stuff that like wouldn't fly into well that age. whole tower is crazy i mean it's dead it's just, it's just graves yeah, yeah it's graves it's graves all over the place yeah the guy's got like a dead i don't know if i don't remember if it's in the game but in the manga he's got a dead dude duo um yeah it's definitely the manga yeah he it like is. has a picture of him shit had just died it's and it's up. buried there um yeah the pony tower is cool and it, it's the only place like i remember i i loved the, the, the look of Ghastly and Haunter so much. Um, yeah, because it was so unique. I only later found out that I could never get a Gengar without trading and Poke Link's blue chunks. The uh, the fucking the link cable. Yep. Dude, getting that lined up and then you'd have to like make sure like it would like it would, the slightest move and it would like disconnect. Like those things fucking sucked. And uh, yeah, so getting a Gengar was damn near impossible. Doom, 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 yeah. Doom, doom. So, and that so brings us to the, uh, one of the greatest urban legends around, po- probably the only one I know around Pokemon. I mean, there's the First, Pokemon let's see the bean. Black. Let's see right. the bean real quick. <clears throat> there's the creepy possible uh, cartridge that... This may be a booger. Booger juice. All right, let's grab a bean. And this one is either going to be... This is pear. Peach or barf? Oh, it's gross. Me. All right, let's... You're right, dude. The pear is gross. Yeah, all right. This um, is pear, not booger. And it's gross. <laughs> all right, I think I got barf again. No, I got peach. Damn, this guy. Oh, man. Anyway. No, oh. Nope, this is barf. This is barf. Sometimes it's hard to tell, guys. It's hard to tell right away. It tastes like... Why would someone... Like, want bile. So at some point, let, let me. I got a story about barf, in 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 the in the Jelly Belly context. I watched this documentary. Uh, no, it was like one of those Food Network shows, but it was about Jelly Bellies. And the reason they make these is because they try to make flavors, and it sometimes they turn out gross. And they're like, let's just keep them because people like that shit. I thought this was because of Harry Potter. No, this was happened before that. Barf is pepperoni. Get the fuck out of here. How does that how does that change things for you? That's weird. <laughs> they Why go, would they try to make a pepperoni <laughs> jelly belly? Because it's it's I it's kinda like the Harry I think those Harry Potter things are based off jelly bellies where they like Son, I never in my life would be like, yo, did you try the new pepperoni jelly belly? Nobody has because it turned into barf. <laughs> because it tasted more like barf than pepperoni. Even as a kid I've never liked jelly beans. So I mean this I is, like jelly this beans. This is the most jelly beans I think I've eaten in I years. I don't like jelly bellies. I don't, I don't really like candy, but if I do 
like the. I want to try um, buttered popcorn. We're gonna like. But there's also the chance that it's a rotten egg. We're gonna rapid fire this real quick, but first let's talk about this one's big. The urban. You want to talk about Pokemon Black first before we get to the song? Pokemon Black is just a creepypasta where somebody got trapped inside the game and it was like a possess, it was a possessed cartridge and whatever. But this, just come on, let's go. Are you gonna play the actual song? Yeah, we're gonna play that song. I'm hyped. So, yeah, so this song for Lavender Town had to be taken out of the game after the first. I don't even think it hit American Shores the nope. original so- game. I was in the original Red version. Yeah. Red and green. So, it it's this song with this like high pitch. We're gonna play it, but I'll give you a warning before we do. Um, yeah. So it, it has these like high pitched tones, and it was said to give kids headaches and make them like have these crazy violent outbursts. But even further than that, supposedly over two hundred Japanese children committed suicide. It's pretty fucking. Brutal. And that is the rumor there. Um, <coughs> I'm pretty sure it's been debunked, but our our resident artist, Arcade Andrew, was like, uh, I'm a real Pokemon master. I don't think that's real. Even though I've been playing Pokemon since he was a little sperm. Hey, um, Arcade so... Andrew, one, go <laughs> fuck yourself. I don't, obviously, I don't necessarily believe this either. I don't, I, I'm, I'm saying necessarily for the episode. I don't believe it I'm either. almost positive if 200 kids killed themselves, that would yeah. have made national news. But it's fun to talk about. And the song is pretty creepy, man. I do think they definitely changed the song probably because of the high frequency. Yeah, it's... So, all right, we're going to play it right now. I'm going to give you, like, a good 20 seconds of it, and then we'll come back and eat some beans. Um, yeah, it's it's pretty crazy. If you are scared that maybe these high frequencies might get you in some way, um, poke Just... up your ears for, like, uh, 20 seconds. All right, and let's play that. that and i don't want to kill myself <laughs> i i don't but i, I it's creepy that's maybe, maybe, creepy. maybe it's because i'm not a kid well that's another Yo, there's part. a kid's party outside let's just blast it on a boombox Yo, so i'm listening happens. to this at my girlfriend's house the other day and her niece is there and I, she's like what is that like what is this fucking song you're listening to and i'm like oh it's like some song for pokemon that like made kids kill themselves and she's like "Yo, don't be listening to that with my niece in the house like she was shook and that's i'm like hilarious. yo Urban Legends, man. Yo. I get you. Hold on, Bean. Yeah. So, and I, I, honestly, I was like, maybe I, I should keep this away from her. <laughs> like, I, I'm not, obviously, I don't believe it, but... <laughs> Either this is toothpaste or... Go first. I have... No, I'm not doing this one. It was a toothpaste. I got fucking stink bug again. Toothpaste isn't that bad. Oh, it tastes like Listerine. All right, so this one... Yeah, that's like Listerine. I think this one might be Stinky Socks. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't mind toothpaste. Toothpaste, uh... Oh, for fuck's sake, this is stinky socks. <laughs> you want to do another one? Don't worry. Right what the fuck was that one? I don't know. It was white. No, oh, this is candy. This, oh, <laughs> this, this is, um... Um, roasted marshmallow. This one is pink. I don't know what... No, that's almost dishwater or birthday cake again. Fuck! Alright. No, that was birthday cake, I guess. All right. So before we end this, what uh, anything else you want to talk about? Um, I mean, overall, I think the ghost Pokemon, the whole—I don't know if it's a, like a not a genre of Pokemon, but the whole typing of Pokemon, it, it's evolved and it's gotten so big. I'll say this. Ghost Pokemon, even though it kind of sucked that there was only the one, or the three, yeah, but the one. All right, how many you got in your hand? I got a bunch. I want, I want. I got five. I want right. shit I've never had before. I keep getting the same one. five? All right, you know what, let's just, that one might be dog food, actually. I'm going to go for it. So, I, oh, there was. all right, fine, wait. There was like a mysticism to Ghost Pokemon back in the day, and that is not the case anymore. They're everywhere. 
So Pokemon did a really good job back in the day. Like Dragon Pokemon felt really special when you ran into one, which was only Dratini. Yeah, right? Dragon Dragonair and Dragonite. Um, but they felt special. And now, like I know it's like, what are you gonna do? You need more, but they don't feel as special. And yeah, All the right, Lavender so Town stuff was. Dope. I have possible dog food. Or we both have possible dog food, which is supposed to be the worst one. All right, and is uh, this the only dog foods there aren't left? Yeah. Oh, so one of us definitely have dog food, or both of us. This is gonna suck. All right, let's go for it at the same time. All right, cheers. Ready? There's dog food. Dog food. <laughs> ah. Actually, it's chocolate pudding. <laughs> yeah. No. Um. That's chocolate pudding. I thought it was dog food. We never got a dog food. Because when you bite it, it has a weird taste. Yeah, it's these are not good to begin with, guys. Yeah. Um. So that's I'm sucked. rapid fire. I'm going toothpaste now. All right. This is either gonna be rotten egg or popcorn. Ooh, blue is good. That was the best one so far. Popcorn's not bad. That was berry blue. This one might be booger. Yeah, that's booger. That's not so bad. What's this one? Wait. Uh, I'm trying to see what ones I haven't gotten yet. Yeah, me too. What are these pink ones? I think this one's barf. Is it? No, it's dead fish. Oof. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Yo! It's like, yeah. Oh! <laughs> god. Yo, Which I'm gonna, one was that? I'm gonna hurl. Oh! <laughs> Guys, I don't like seafood. Oh, that's fucked up. I'm going for this one. Hopefully, it's toothpaste. Oh. <laughs> yep, toothpaste. Guys. Oh. I actually like the toothpaste one. Oh, oh shit. Are you really going to puke? Oh, my God. The, the fish one is bad. That's that's bad. Which one is the fish? It's pink. It's one of these? I don't know. That might be fish, yeah. All right, now I got to try it. No. All right. That's... Strawberry. Uh, I'll keep trying until I get it. Oh God! We're gonna, uh, I think this is fish because it has this weird yellow. Go for it. No. Wow. Um. No. Let's see. Um. Uh. 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 <coughs> uh. Oh, we got a winner. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> what is it? It's fish. Oh, oh he, my god. The fish is really good. Uh, <coughs> oh. <coughs> oh. 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 Oh god. The fish the fish is uh. really bad. Uh. Oh god. I really almost just puked. It's the worst one. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. I'm done with that. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. You done? Oh fuck, I'm tapping. All right, there's tears in my eyes, dude. Look at this. Oh, so guys, I'm gonna do right. a handful of one, dude, two, there's three, probably four, fish five, there. six, seven, eight, nine, oh, ten. You're wild. I'm doing ten at once. No. Happy yeah, Halloween, fun. everybody. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh my God, I'm getting soap. <laughs> uh oh. Oh. Yeah, no, fish is the worst. There's got to be a fish in there. There has to be. This is horrible. Ugh. You know what the worst part is? The sweetness to everything. Uh huh. That fish one is the worst. I'm okay. You did good. You're a champ. You're a champ. Oh. That dish water is weird, right? Oh, the dish water is rough. I got a dish water. You probably got a spoiled milk in there. I'm <laughs> 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 Oh, God. All right, guys. Happy so, Halloween. So happy Halloween. Check us out on Twitter at We Get Dubbed. Instagram, the same fucking thing. <laughs> Check out our website, we get dubbed .com. Um We're on YouTube now. Check us out there. Yes. Every episode we posted there. And like us, subscribe, fucking comment. Tell us to go fuck ourselves. Yeah, please. Nothing would make us happier than and then a comment section just loaded with obscenities aimed at us. Yeah. Oh, so, dude. So do that. <laughs> and maybe the winner, will, the best obscenities will get a prize. I'm making that up. But <laughs> I mean, we can send them something. I don't know. 
Let's send go. You, send you, uh, I don't know. Come right. at us, guys. Yeah. Come at us. Come Dude. at us hard. Um, uh, we, what else do we got going on? Uh, Nothing much right now. But I don't know how you just did that. That was impressive. <sighs> I just had to. Uh, so, yeah, check us out at those places. Um, we got Piece by Piece. You can check that podcast out as well. I think next month we're doing um, a little col- collab with uh, with Shonen Flop. They're going to come on and we're going to watch some fucking shitty anime and talk about it. Shitty, brutal anime. Dope. Um, yeah, so check those guys out. And, um, yeah, so uh, <coughs> I'm going to hit that outro, right? I guess we're going to get yeah, later, guys. Before we all puke. <laughs>